Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge, and welcome to part three of my 2017 Christmas guide. Now I've already showed you what we purchased for my oldest daughter and for my oldest son, but today I'm talking about Lily, my youngest daughter. So if you need any more gift ideas, or if you're just curious to see what we purchased for her, stay tuned. Okay guys, now before we get started, I have a few things that I wanna share with you. Now first off, if you've seen my prior two Christmas videos, you'll probably notice a theme here. A lot of these items are sort of the same because I'd like to try to keep it as even as possible when it comes to Christmas gifts. So my husband and I, we don't buy a really big gift for one kid and then like a small gift for another kid. We try to keep it as even as possible. My kids are actually really close in age and so a lot of times if I buy a certain gift for one kid, some of the other kids will end up using it as well. So I try to find things that they might like as a gift, but that they can share with their siblings as well. And just like the other kids, we did try to stay on budget, under $80 for all of Lily's items. And keep in mind that I totally understand that not everyone's gonna have this budget and not everyone's gonna like my gift choices. But these I think are gonna work well for her. Now, like I said, Lily is our youngest daughter. She just turned four in October, and she is a spunky kid. She's pretty much the opposite of her older sister. She would not prefer reading a book. She would prefer climbing a tree, and she's really artistic as well. So a lot of these toys and items will reflect that. So let's get started. Now, I forgot to mention that just like my other kids, we are sort of following the four category rule when it comes to gifting. So we tried to find something that Lily would want, something that she needed, something that she could wear, and something that she could read when we were picking these gifts. So the first category I have here is something that Lily wanted. And I actually picked two things for this category, something that she wanted herself and something that I wanted her to have. So first off, I picked something that she wanted, and it's this bike. And as you can tell, it's not put together yet. This was actually a Black Friday purchase, and it was only about $35, so it was really cheap. I found it on Walmart, and I'll go ahead and put in a picture here so you can really tell what it's going to look like, but I'm super excited for her to have this because she hasn't had a regular bike yet. She's had scooters and she's had balance bikes, but this will be her first two-wheeler. So hopefully maybe Santa will bring her a new helmet because she's probably gonna need that as well. Now moving on to something that I wanted her to have, I have an educational toy. Just like her older brother and older sister, if I can, I wanna give them something educational as well. So for Lily, I picked out this talking microscope. Now this actually says for ages four and up, so I'm pretty sure that she can handle it. And to tell you the truth, I'm really excited about this one. I think she's gonna love it. I think she may become addicted to looking at things through the lens, but I can't wait for her to see it. Now, I found this on Amazon, and the company is called Educational Insights. And what's really interesting about this talking one is that the voice that's talking to you is Bindi Irwin. So that's really cool. She's actually um, recorded her voice, all these different facts for the kids to learn about the slides that they are looking at. Now this actually comes with the slides as well. And I'm not sure if you can add your own. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out, but that looks really fun. Now moving on to the something to wear category, I also have two items. Just like for Mackenzie and just like Jackson, I have two items. Now unfortunately, one of the items was delayed in transit. So I don't actually physically have Lily's, but I can tell you that it's the Lily sized version of this shirt which I also bought, well this one's Mackenzie's, I also bought one for Mackenzie, and that's because we're taking the kids to Disneyland in a few days to experience the Christmas season. So I'm actually gonna give Lily's version of the shirt to her early, like right away, so she can wear it all Christmas season. But the other thing I'm not actually gonna give to her until Christmas Day, and it's a set of pajamas. I bought pajamas for Mackenzie, and I bought them for Jackson. So here's what I picked for Lily. I found these on walmart.com, and these are actually unicorn-themed pajamas. And these are actually a onesie as well, and it's made of this like fleece material, which is super warm. And these also have no feet. I prefer the ones with no feet, because our floors are really slippery um, for the kids if they do have the feet on there. So anyway, I thought this was really cute. This was less than $10, and she really loves everything unicorn, so I know she's going to love it. 
Okay guys, now I wasn't kidding when I said I tried to keep things even amongst my kids this year. So when I show you the need category, you're probably not gonna be surprised because just like Jackson and just like Mackenzie, for Lily I picked up a pair of wireless headphones and these are also from Target, they were only $10. Now Lily does use uh, a Chromebook and she will use abcmouse.com and starfall.com so these are going to be perfect for that. So all the kids can be working on their computers, they can have their headphones on and won't, they won't disturb each other. So at least I'm hoping that will be the case. Now also for Lily I picked up a pack of these magic sticks but these are different than the ones I got for Jackson and for Mackenzie because these ones say they won't dry out for seven days even with a cap off. Now Lily loves art supplies, but she's really bad at remembering to put the lids on, so these are perfect. Now if you're curious about these, I will put a link in the description box below. Can't wait to try these, I know she's gonna love them. Up next we have this something to read category, and this is actually something that Lily picked out herself from Costco several weeks ago, but she forgot about it. So I think she's gonna be really surprised to see that mommy actually bought it. But this is one of those books where you read the book but you also listen to the songs. And unlike most books like this, these songs are actually not annoying. I like these songs because they're actual Disney songs. <laughs> So definitely, unlike regular books like this, I wouldn't mind hearing that song over and over because I love Disney and I love that song. Now these other ones actually play songs of these specific princesses. We have Snow White and Ariel and Rapunzel and Jasmine, so yes, I'm excited for her to have this because I kind of love it too. Okay guys, so that's everything we picked for Lily this year. Now overall, I think she's really gonna enjoy these things. I can't wait to see her face light up when she sees the bike especially. And just like the other two kids, we did stay under budget, which was important to us. Now, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, because I am going to be showing what I bought my toddler for Christmas on the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.